Hey guys, it's Ashley from Bookaholics Anonymous, and this is another book talk for Lucky in Love by Casey West, of course. So I've only got a few more books of hers to read, and then I'll be finished with all the books that she's written. But, <clears throat> so you guys, you guys know if you've watched my channel or seen any of my um, reviews by Casey, or my reviews for Casey West books that... I really love her stories because they're just, their characters are so cute together, they're, they just mesh kind of well, and the storylines are just adorable and fun to read about, and in a way, this one was kind of the same, I guess, but I'm gonna have to say that this probably wasn't my favorite. If, if anything, it's probably lowered down the list of her books that I actually like. I would probably say maybe I really want to say a five but it's it's definitely not a five star read for me and that sucks because I love all her books. It's more like a maybe a three and a half. I don't know you guys. I just felt really bad because I wanted to love the story but the characters in this one just I don't know. I mean the only character I really enjoyed was, oh damn, I forgot his name too. <laughs> Seth, duh. The only, yeah, like I said, the only character I really enjoyed was Seth, and he is um, a co-worker at the zoo with Maddie. Maddie, sorry, Maddie, yeah, Maddie, with Maddie, and he's the only one that I think truly enjoyed Maddie's company and was still happy to be around her when she won the lottery and so yeah I just I don't know the, just him and their connection it was what I probably enjoyed the most about the book I didn't I didn't really like Maddie's personality to begin or like at the beginning or at the beginning she was all right um until she won the lottery and stuff like that and then she her priorities kind of got mixed around like she cared more about what her friends thought of her so I don't know I just her character is just kind of wishy-washy to me I mean you know she gets all the money she forgets everything she's kind of goes to being friends with these people that have ignored her for her whole school career or whatnot and it's just I don't know there's just little things about the book that just kind of irritated me I guess and just and even her friends were uh, kind of like clinging on to her lottery win and stuff like this and I'm just like these are supposed to be your real friends they're not supposed to be like that but I guess, I don't know, I never won the lottery, so I don't know how that changes people, really, but I just, I don't know. But I do like the ending to the book. It seems to, she seems to kind of grow a little bit more. She, like I said, she kind of flip-flops back and forth, but she seems to kind of start understanding that people are using her for her lottery win, and that she shouldn't be just spending the money wildly and just doing, you know, whatever, throwing extravagant parties, buying extravagant cars and all this stuff with her money when she should be just kind of setting it aside, I guess, and watching it. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I know I probably, if you know, I would probably have a hard time doing that too. I'd want to be just be spending it and getting stuff that I want and all this, and but... So, you know, I guess that happens. You gotta kind of grow up at some point. But she is only 17 or 18. 18. So, and she she helps, you know, she helps her parents. She helps her brother. She tries to help her brother by giving them some money to and trying to fix some of their debt and all this. And so she does do good things with the money. It's just some of the stuff is ridiculous and she, I, I don't know, she, she just forgets, I think, the little things in her life that are not about the money. 
So that was really sad not to like love this book and all that and not like love the romance. I mean, I like I said, I liked Seth and I liked Maddie when they were kind of together and kind of just, you know, kicking it, chilling, whatever and stuff. And the stuff that Seth does for Maddie is so, is really adorable. And I'm like, Maddie, you're just being a complete and total B-I-T-C-H right now. So, you know, yeah, but like, it's just, I don't know, it's really, <laughs> it's kind of a love-hate relationship with this book, and it's, it makes me really sad. I need to get her other books and see if they're anything, if they're like her older books and I like them more, or I really want to read, it's kind of gotten off on a tangent of her other books, but I really want to read Pivot Point and Split Second, I think it is, because they're not... I don't think they're contemporary-ish like all the others are of hers. So yeah. The whole they will be definitely be different. So that is my little book talk whatnots for Lucky and Love. And yeah. At some point I think I'm gonna do once I do read all her books if I do can, I'm going to try to read them from the one I like the most to which one I didn't like and stuff. So stick around to see when I will do that because I have no idea. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye.